Hello everybody, Mike here at Game From Scratch. And over the weekend, there was a lot of rumors going around that Microsoft was looking at buying GitHub and actually ended up being true. Today, they pulled the trigger on purchasing GitHub for a whopping seven and a half billion dollars worth of stock. Um, so if you've not heard of it, GitHub is probably the most popular online code repository out there. Um, I would say the vast majority of major open source projects are hosted on GitHub, and now Microsoft owns it all. So what's that going to mean to us, the end user developer? Well, uh, if you believe GitHub or you believe Microsoft, not much, actually. Um, from the GitHub announcement blog, uh, it's pretty straightforward. They're basically saying... Uh, blah, blah, blah. They liked Microsoft. Microsoft acquired Minecraft LinkedIn and didn't screw them up. Uh, so they thought they were a good match. And it says, but more than that, <laughs> uh, their vision for the future... Where did that go? Their vision for the future closely matches our own. We both believe GitHub needs to remain an open platform for all developers. No matter your language, stack, platform, cloud, or license, GitHub will continue to be your home, the best place for software creation, collaboration, and discovery. We both believe that software development needs to become easier, more accessible, more intelligent, and more open so more people can become developers. Existing uh, developers can spend more time focusing on the unique problems they are trying to solve. Uh, and most importantly, we both believe we can do greater things together than alone. Collaboration, after all, is the heart of everything we do. Microsoft came up with a very similar post. Um, in short, developers will be at the center of solving problems, the world's most pressing challenges, real problem comes developers, work together, collaborate, blah, blah, blah. That is why we are so excited. Uh, there's actually an excuse here of what they're going to do. Um, do, do, do. Here we go. First, we will empower developers at every stage of the development life cycle, from idea to collaboration to deployment to the cloud. Going forward, GitHub will remain an open platform. I think that's what most people want to hear, uh, which any developer can plug into it and extend. Developers will continue to be able to use the programming languages, tools, and operating systems of their choice for their projects and will still be able to deploy their code on any cloud and any device. Second, we will accelerate enterprise uh, developer use of GitHub with their direct sales and partner channel and access to Microsoft's global cloud infrastructure and services. So basically there is where they intend to uh, make their money. And here is probably if you're not paying for GitHub now, the most tangible difference you're going to see, we'll bring developer tools and services to new audience. So in other words, GitHub integration is going to probably be used to sell uh, Microsoft tools to a certain degree. But you know what, that already makes sense. They make one of the best open source code editors out there. And in fact, Microsoft has actually embraced GitHub to a pretty big degree. Right now, they host the open source projects of Visual Studio Code, which is awesome. TypeScript, uh, which frankly is kind of awesome. .NET is now fully open source, and I, I actually am a big fan of .NET. Uh, Monaco Editor, Chakra Core uh, for JavaScript, um, etc. So they've got a lot of large open projects on GitHub right now. And those projects are actually quite well accepted in the community and are being used for things you wouldn't expect. For example, Visual Studio Code has been extended to make a very good Java editing environment. And Microsoft's uh, encouraging this actually. Microsoft isn't the company of you know, embrace, extend, extinguish that everyone hates so much from the past. They've kind of turned a new leaf in this and I'm willing to more than give them the benefit of the doubt. Now, I know a lot of people aren't and actually this already came up. Here's GitLab, a competitor to GitHub. They're seeing a 10x the normal amount of repositories uh, being opened up and they're scaling accordingly. So obviously you've got a lot of people that are gonna knee jerk leave uh, GitHub because Microsoft now owns it. And my humble opinion, this is absolutely stupid. Uh, for two Two reasons. First off, I trust Microsoft a lot more than, well, actually, to be honest, I trust Microsoft more than I do a company like GitHub, which had questionable funding. So now they are well-funded. And frankly, Microsoft has been doing very good things from the developer side of things. Let's put it this way. Do you remember last year when uh, Microsoft bought uh, Mono and completely ruined that Linux version of .NET? Oh, wait, yeah. Uh, no, they didn't. They bought it and they made all of the tools open source and free. So I don't understand the knee-jerk hate against Microsoft buying things. From a developer tools perspective, every time they've bought something as of late, they've actually followed through with it and made it 
better for you know developers to end up using it. So uh, this this knee jerk hate, I'm not really understanding to be honest. This is actually generally a good move uh, for the rank and file developers. We're already working with uh, free versions of Visual Studio Code, free versions of uh, Mono, uh, free versions of Visual Studio Community itself. Unless you're like a big corporation, and I don't think any of us are going to cry over big corporations spending more money, and they're spending money on things like enterprise service agreements, etc. Which frankly you know, there's a great business model. And that's how all, almost all major open source projects actually make their money is by charging at that level. So I, I don't think anything is going to really change there. And on top of that, um, and things like what you're seeing here, a whole bunch of people are moving over to GitLab. Well, it's not like Microsoft is going to shut down GitHub tonight. Uh, this is a really weird reaction because GitHub is a repository for the open Git standard. You can create a local repository. You can basically, when you download your code off at of GitHub, when you sync it to your local repository, you're moving it off GitHub to a certain degree. You can then just with a couple of lines of code say, okay, I want to host my repository here instead to say GitLab. And then Boom, you're on the other service. So there is almost no hooks on the GitHub, GitHub side of things. If you want to move off GitHub, you can at any time easily with no barriers. So this, uh, there's not lock in here. Microsoft needs to be a good steward for GitHub or GitHub is going to fail. And if they stop being a good steward, you can leave pretty much immediately. So this, this reaction to it, I don't know. The sky is always falling for a lot of people. And um, I, I'm not going to take shots at the open source community, but there can be a little bit of a, a knee jerk paranoia there. So uh, it'd be interesting to see how this turns out. And I'm also interested to hear what your opinion on this is. Is this a bad thing for Microsoft to have bought them? I, like It does give GitHub stability. Like GitHub is going to be using a lot of server technology, a lot of bandwidth. And we don't know how well as a company GitHub lab or Git yeah, GitHub. I don't know what GitHub's parent company name is. Basically, we don't know how financially solvent they were. And a lot of times companies like that need a white knight to come in and actually buy them for the end game to make sense. So there is now that stability there. I think there's my opinion anyways. If you are like worried about GitHub's future, I would worry less now that Microsoft's in charge. I don't think Microsoft's going to turn around and do anything stupid to alienate uh, the majority of users. And the only people I think that would potentially get messed up or screwed over by Microsoft changes is on the private repository enterprise side of things. But even there, I don't see it, to be honest. I, I could almost see Microsoft turning GitHub into a completely free service because, and again, here's the catch. Whenever a company spends something like $7 billion on something, there is something they're trying to get out of it. And obviously there's the brain trust. They've got the employees coming in from outside, etc. Oh, and there's another thing I didn't mention. Uh, Nat Friedman is being put in charge of um, the GitHub as their CEO now, and it's going to be run as an independent entity. But Nat is a storied fellow. Basically, he came over to Microsoft in the Mono acquisition. And before that, he started Xamarin. And before that, it was, oh, I forget what it's called. So this is Nat Friedman. Uh, he came over from Zimian. That's right. Uh, Zimian was ended up being purchased by Novell back in 2003. But this guy has been open source his entire life. He's been directing open source at um, Novell since 2010, became the CEO of Xamarin in 2011. In 2016, Microsoft bought them and he was a corporate VP of developer services there. And now he's going to be the CEO of um, this new GitHub division of Microsoft. And again, this guy eats, breathes, drinks, sleeps open source. He's been an open source purist since the very beginning, heavily involved in GNOME. That was what I was trying to come up with. Um, so the guy has definitely uh, done his work in the open source world. And he's the guy that's ultimately going to be in charge of this new company. So that's something for people to feel confident about. But the other part is, as I was kind of mentioning before I went off on this tangent, Microsoft is going to get something out of this. So there's, you know, first off, they're sitting on a huge pile of cash. So it just makes sense. Sometimes losing money at that level is just worth it. But what I found interesting was actually a couple of months back, they released uh, a beta install of Visual Studio IntelliCode. Uh, I'll link the video of this down below as long, along with the the announcements that I went through earlier today. But what's interesting in this is basically this was IntelliSense on steroids with an AI backend. And the way that AI actually worked was by analyzing GitHub projects. 
So they're basically getting best practices from going through the top thousand GitHub repositories um, and basically doing machine learning on that. And I think in some ways that is the end game here for Microsoft. Um, now, it's, they, obviously, they could do it now with open tools, but you know, controlling it on the back end, I can see how uh, expert systems, machine learning, AI, all that stuff would really benefit from being in charge of the GitHub servers. So uh, interesting to see what your particular take on this is. Is this uh, good? Is this bad? Are you moving away from uh, GitHub today? Or do you think people are completely overreacting? Do you think Microsoft deserves its evil reputation? Or is it all pretty much overblown? We'll be interested to hear what you've got to say in the comments down below. All right, that's it for now. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.